Good morning. Today on Midwest Outdoors, we're fishing St. Germain, Wisconsin with John Andrew, the Angler's Choice Guide Service. What are we fishing for today, John? Today we're doing crappies, and this is such a fantastic crappie fishing area in St. Germain, Wisconsin, that it's great for our families that come up here, the tourists, and we're doing them in shallow water right now, but we're also getting some in deeper water. They're not going to be great big crappies, but we're going to have a lot of fun catching a lot of crappies. Let's go get them. All right, sounds good. Okay, Lens, you got another one. It's tastes good day for me. <laughs> Bring them up here to me, Lens. Remember, Lens, we talked earlier, this is about catching a lot of fish today. Mm -hmm. This is about bringing up families, couples, vacationers, bringing more tourists to our area. It's a lot of fun because, because everyone can catch them. Right. You don't have to be a professional to catch them. That's the nice thing about these good eating fillets, these crappies. They're almost like bluegills. They bite so well. Let's get going. That's a little bigger one. Today's really my lucky day. You're doing really well, Linz. Thanks. That's a nice size one. And bring them right up here to me, Linz. Now open oh. your bail for me. Looks like we're gonna have a fish fry tonight. Yes, we are. Okay, Linz. All right. You got, you got <laughs> another one. Oh, oh, now that one, Linz, is what Oops. we call a real a little baby. Too high. Open your bail for me. It's just a little me. guy. Open your bail. It's amazing how aggressive these fish are biting. Why is that? Is it well, that area? Or? Uh, you know, it's about the location, is it? Uh, they're suspending around this structure. Now, a lot of people think structure has to be connected to the bottom of the lake. Uh -huh. Deep weeds, logs, rocks. But in reality, some of the docks are used as structure. Swim rafts are used as structure. Uh, everything from boats are used as structure on a dock that's hooked up. Uh, we have the right depth. We have good spawning area right along the shoreline, and they move to the first drop-off once they're ready to start suspending. And this is the first particular drop-off in this section of the lake. Yeah, this one is a little nicer size and puts up a great fight, too. I mean, they, they're truly aggressive today, and that's really a lot of fun. So, do they like the sunlight or the shade aspect of the structures, whether it be a raft or trees or brush. The shade works real good for them at times, but then if the water's too warm, they're gonna go deeper and suspend. Right now we're in that transition where they're moving off the shoreline onto the first break lines. So we're catching some suspended and some a little deeper. So you go ahead and cast out and we'll work it again. Got them, Linz? Yep. Ooh, that's a nice one. Bring them up here, Linz. Good girl. Oh, the last few are good size. We're in St. Germain, where else do you guide? You know, it's all over, from the Eagle River area to Presque Isle, Wisconsin, to uh, we're in Vilas County, Oneida County, uh, Forest County, the Turtle Flambeau Flowage, the Minocqua chain of lakes. Uh, I guide all over, all the way down to the Wolf River. Wow, mm -hmm. how long have you been up in this, in those areas? Our up family north? bought our home up here in 1972. And that's how long I've been fishing all these lakes. So if you're looking for a vacation in the Northwoods, give John Andrew a call. He knows these lakes like the back of his hand. I can't believe they're still biting here. I've, it's crazy. That's good oh. though. Keep, oh, a nice oh. one, Linz. That's a good one. Yep, and bring him right up here, Linz. Oh, he's kind of heavy. Good girl. Compared to the last one. You know, back to the St. Germain area. I mean, I can't say enough about it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is really good fishing and, and it's not just one lake, all the lakes in this area are very good. Got them, Liz? All right, Woo. Bring them up here. Uh, oops. <laughs> How many have you caught that? I think I've only been able to have time to catch one. Maybe just like 20 or 30. <laughs> good girl, <laughs> give me some skin here, a girl. That's great, that's fantastic. Yeah, I can't lie, I'm pretty proud. <laughs> you should be, you're doing really, really well. Wow, another one. Yeah, you know, it's just never ending. I mean, we're literally, bringing them in as fast as we can get our hooks out there. And uh, we're not in springtime. You know, that's something that we should mention to the people at home. You take a good look around the forest, the tree line, I mean, the leaves are out. This is midsummer. It's only a couple days away from 4th of July. And, uh, you know, we don't have to just catch crappies in the spring or in the winter. We can do it all summer long. Well, we've had a great day here out on the water with John Andrew, the Angler's Choice Guide Service. We've been catching crappie, bass, bluegill, 
And John is actually a multi-species um, guide service. So, John? Yeah, that's correct. You know, we guide for musky walleye, smallmouth crappies, largemouth bass, uh, bluegills, you know, with the families, the couples, the grandparents. Uh, we fish with everybody. You know, northern Wisconsin is a great vacation area, as, as a lot of us know in the Midwest. And anything I can do to help create part of the, the tourist happiness when they're up here through fishing is really a treat for me too, so. So how do people get a hold of you? You know, you can contact me at the anglerschoiceguideservice.com or 715-892-3020. That can be done also with email, John Andrew at CenturyTel.net. We've had a lot of fun out here today. I'm Lindsay Hunkler, and for John Andrew, Midwest Outdoors will be right back.